Hey y'all, happy Sunday and welcome back to another vlog. So I wanted to pick up in this vlog where I left off from the last one. So here I decided to go ahead and make Sunday dinner. My husband cooked breakfast and so we decided to take naps after that. So I decided that I would go ahead and cook dinner for the day because y'all know that I rarely cook but when I feel like cooking, I cook. So this time I cook. And I'm just making some roasted chicken wings here. If you want to know what I added in here, I just used kosher salt, black pepper, lemon pepper, Italian seasoning, smoked paprika, and garlic powder. And just a little bit of olive oil. And then you'll see me put them in a foil lined cast iron because I don't really want to dirty up my pans like that. And then I just roasted them in the oven until they got tender like I wanted them. And then I added barbecue sauce, but you'll see that later on in the vlog. I just wanted to come in and say hello. This montage is about maybe four to five minutes long. So if it's not something that you want to see, because I'm also doing a little bit of tidying up as well. So if that's not something that you want to see, then you can just go ahead and fast forward to when I officially open up the vlog. Thanks for watching. So listen, I welcome back to another vlog. So I ended the vlog yesterday. Well, I just, you saw a few clips where I just picked back up from um, where we left off yesterday. Um, I cooked dinner because my husband made breakfast. And so y'all may know me, y'all been around here any amount of time. I'll tell y'all in a heartbeat, I just don't like cooking, but I was okay. I was okay. 
um, I wanted to do it this time. <clears throat> so my husband, so yesterday morning when we woke up, y'all, yesterday was the best Sunday. So when we woke up, my husband and I woke up about eight o'clock, seven, between seven and eight. And he said, um, Nicole, let's cook breakfast and then go, let's cook breakfast and then go and then take a nap. And I was like, okay. Now, yesterday was cold and gloomy and it was raining. It was just the day to do nothing, right? But he had me go to the grocery store with him that morning. This is water. Water, okay? It's water. I just, y'all know I like to drink my water out of my wine glasses. Because I got a lot of wine glasses. Because I just think they're so beautiful. This is my Olivia Pope glass from Crate and Barrel. But I think they're so beautiful. And so I drink my water or juice out of my wine glasses. You can too. Anyway, so he had me out in the morning, child, at the store. It was like 40 some degrees yesterday. So I was out at the store and we picked up, you know, a couple things we needed for breakfast. We came back home, we cooked, we ate. Y'all saw, y'all, I was editing footage for, I was editing the footage for the vlog and uploading and stuff like that. And I ended up falling asleep. I was not and while I was editing so we took naps it was just the best Sunday we took naps we chilled when I woke up from my nap I finished editing finished uploading the video and then I came in the kitchen and I just started cleaning and I just started cooking and I was cool with that so y'all saw the little segments of me doing any of that so anyway today this week we're off okay I took off from the gym I still have have to meet with my um, bridal clients, my bride and my groom this week. Have to do a venue walkthrough this week, but I'll take y'all along with me for that. But this week, child, we off. I told my trainer, I said I'm not coming, I'm not coming this week because my body needs the break. So I will be incorporating like low impact exercises. I'll be walking. I'll probably be doing. I'll probably be doing more walking, but it, I will keep it low impact. Nothing strenuous, nothing to stress my body out. None of that. I will be doing walking and stretching. And um, I'll probably do that. Probably start. I might do it today, but maybe starting tomorrow. But we're just keeping it really like low impact this week. And so, what else? And then we have event. But for the most part, child, we off. Okay. I took the week off because I needed to take the week off. And there's some things I need to do around the house. Like I want to declutter. I want to pull out my um, spring, summer clothes. I'm still gonna keep a few of my sweaters out because the weather here is real fickle. I'm sure as it is where y'all are too. But I want to really go through my closet and there are just certain things that you just know certain things you're not going to wear anymore i recognize i'm not really a big print girl so solids are my thing now i do like color but i just you know certain stuff you just know when you know you know and so i've been buying more basic pieces to incorporate in my wardrobe um <clears throat> for my style my style is pretty classic, timeless, but it's also sexy, chic, a little bit preppy. So I have some Target things coming this week. I ordered a tennis skirt because I want to wear a tennis skirt so bad, y'all. I ordered a tennis skirt from the Prince collection that they just dropped at Target on Saturday. So I'll show y'all that when it gets here. I think it'll be here like Wednesday. I'll show y'all that when it gets here. And I might take y'all through the declutter process with me or just to show you like what I'm keeping, what I'm getting rid of. We'll see. I don't know. But the week is ours because we're off. So I'm going to do some things around the house, just like some decluttering. I'm not going to do too much. not going to stress myself too much. But um, girl, we on vacation. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that's that. So I just wanted to, I just wanted to go ahead and start off the vlog. I am about to fix me something to eat and I'm going to plan for the week. And then I just don't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> anyway, I'll chat with y'all in a bit. Morning, y'all. Happy, happy Wednesday. So I am currently 
it is 11 o'clock i don't know if i told y'all that like in the last video i don't know if i told y'all that my cycle was like five days late so it's supposed to be on the 18th it just came on yesterday and i'm grateful but this is a painful one okay this one hurts so i think my body was stressed and i was doing too much working out I've never had a missing cycle. Even when I was training for competition, my cycles always came every month, like clockwork, set a watch by my cycle. But something about being in your forties and switch girl, I don't even know. I don't even know. But it's here and I'm grateful for it. Because I was like, oh my gosh. Is this minnow? Like is men on knocking at my door? But I was just stressed, so we did it. So anyway, today, my cleaning um, people are coming at 12. I'm so glad they're coming. I'm so glad they're coming. And I just did the cleanup before the cleanup. Like, just to pick up. Like, I don't know if y'all are like me, but before the cleaning people come, I just got to pick up a little bit. Because especially if it's like the surfaces in the house are not clear, like if it's stuff on the surfaces of the house, I got to get that up. Because I don't want them cleaning around clutter. Because what's the point? Because then I'll come back and it'll be neatly stacked up, you know, in a place. But that's not what I want. I don't want nothing on the surfaces at any time. But sometimes when you live with other people, okay anyway so we're gonna go out i have no clue what we're gonna do no idea while they're gone but one of my girls has an appointment at two i hope to be back home by then well about two or three i have a meeting today with my um bridal clients um to for their menu tasting and I guess we might have to schedule another meeting because the meeting is somewhere else. So we'll have to schedule another meeting to do a venue walkthrough. So we're having the tasting um, at the place of the caterers. And then to, I'll probably schedule a walkthrough with them probably like the first or second week in May because we need to get that done because the wedding's in June. Anyway, so I said I would take y'all along with me for that yesterday. But I don't know. We'll see. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's all I got. I'm getting ready to hop in the shower. I took some medicine this morning because I was just hurting. I was hurting in the middle of the night, but I just didn't feel like getting up. So I took some medicine this morning. And I also took a muscle relaxer with it because, girl, that's how much pain I'm in. Okay? And so now I'm sleepy. Anyway. I will talk to you all a little bit later. Yeah, I'll talk to you all a little bit later, either before the meeting. I'll probably come back in before my meeting. Girl, my skirt came in the mail. Remember, me I told you I ordered. Remember, I told you I ordered something from the Prince Collection. Excuse my look. I'm about to go hop in the shower. But remember, I told you I ordered something from the Prince Collection from Target that they had. Now, I already knew. It's possible for this booty not to do the right things with a tennis skirt on, right? I'll probably have to find the exact one. Y'all, this skirt is so cute. But when I tell you it's so short, there's no uh there's no shorts up underneath it. There's no there's no security. Okay, there's no security. I'm gonna show y'all the front because I cannot turn around and show y'all the back. Okay. Hang on. This is all I can show you. I can, I can turn to the side a little bit. That's all I got. That's all I can show you. But y'all, look how cute this is. It's, I'm bloated, so if you hear noise, that's the washing machine. But y'all, look at this. That's about all I, I That's it. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. So now I got to figure out what I can do. My husband talking about something. I think you should keep it. I said for what? I can't wear it anyway. You can wear it for me. I can get something else. I can get something else. Not this. I can, I can get something else. This y'all look. It's so cute. 
but I'm just not tennis. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just not tennis skirt material. Or maybe I need to find one that's like maybe a tad bit longer. But this is my problem with skirts that do like this. My body is don't do it like that. It's just got curves. I'm small, but I got a little curve. Now I got to figure something out. Because if I get a medium, it's still not going to... It's gonna not, it's not gonna be longer and it'll just be bigger in the waist. This is a small. Now we gotta be on the hunt for a tennis skirt because I really wanna wear one. So we'll figure it out, see what we can do. Okay, y'all, so this is the collection, right? I'm thinking, I wonder if this would be, see these have short, I think this might be a better option. What is this? Oh, there's a small. I'm gonna try it. I'm, I'm gonna try it on. But this stuff is so cute and so like, I love the preppiness of it all. This is the skirt I had, but they had the matching sweater. I didn't get that because, you know, it's summer. I mean, summer's coming. But I saw these cute, I started to get that shirt there, but I changed my mind. A green skirt. Oh, can you pick that up? See if they have my size. And then these are the jackets. These are cute, but again, you know, it's hot outside. So am I gonna play tennis? No. But I also ordered this oh, I also ordered this dress. Um, I think I thought it was really cute. I think it'll be here tomorrow, but the back is like crisscross, you can't tell. And then this is cute too. This is cute. But this material is going to be a no for me. It's going to be the same thing as the skirt. So I'm going to try this skirt on. I'm probably going to try it on right here. But the collection is cute. This is the men's stuff. It's just really preppy. And I feel like that's a little bit of my vibe too. So, let me see. I don't know because I don't know about these cleats. It's giving church. It's giving tennis. So y'all, listen, <clears throat> I'm in my room, right? I had to come get in my bed because it's been a week for me. So it's really been, I said on Instagram, I was telling the people how this had been a week of stillness for me. Like I told y'all, I already told y'all that I was taking off, um, that I was taking off the week from the gym because my body needed the rest. But so did my brain. Like, so did my mind. So, I had put up a post that said, that talked about being soft. Matter of fact, I could just tell you what it is. Um, the post had said, it was by, it said, hold on to your softness, right? And so, a few weeks ago, I had put up a post that said, don't allow the world or what they did to make you become hard. Stay soft, ladies, right? And so, I had, um, this week I had something that happened that like really hurt, somebody really hurt my feelings, like it really hurt me. Now to know me, and y'all can probably gather this from just me being on here, but to know me is to know that my feelings don't get hurt easily. Like I got pretty thick skin. And just because I ain't hard, but as far as like, people just be people. So I take people at what they are and I just be like, oh, okay. But sometimes things hurt you. Like when you love people and when you open up yourself to love people and people do things that are hurtful, <clears throat> it makes you want to 
close yourself off. To me, that's a way of hardening yourself. You don't allow people and places and things and this world, things of this world to make you become hard. And so this week I had to deal with that. And the first thing I said was, I'm done. I was like, I'm, I'm done with folks. Like, I'm done with people. The one person did something, but it was like, I'm done with people as a whole because people get on my nerves. And I'm tired of being the one that's loving, being the one that's, you know, I love everybody, being the one that's loving, and then I get hurt. So I'm just closing off. I'm just closed off. I'm not, I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to do. And this week I had heard a song, like I, the Lord deals with me in song lyrics, in songs. And so I heard a song and the song says, I have to live the life that I sing about in my song. And the song goes on to say, when the music stops. And it's a, there's a, he's a singer. He's a guy, he was a gospel singer. <clears throat> but he was saying, when the music stops, that's when I live my song. When the band goes home, that's when I live my song. When we said amen and the crowd begins to fade away, that's when I live the life that I sing about in my song, right? So I kept singing that song this week and I was like, why are you, Lord, why are you giving me that song? And then the thing happened. And my first, <laughs> my first mind, you ever old, hear old people say, and my first mind said, my first mind said, I'm not, I'm done with folks. Um, This is why I be you know, closed off towards people because people do things and they hurt you. I don't like to be hurt. Nobody does, but I have when I love you hard and you hurt me, like when I open up to let you in and you hurt me. I'm going to take that out on the, I tend to want to take that out on the future people that may come and that's not correct. Like that's not me staying in a place of softness, right? Because I'm allowing things and the things that people have done to me to harden me. Not that I'm not being protective of who I am, because I am. Let me clarify. I'm not saying don't be protective of yourself. I'm not saying don't be discerning. I'm not saying don't be wise in how you deal with people. I'm not saying none of that. What I am saying is you still have to stay in a place to where, okay, yes, they did do this thing. And yes, they did hurt you. But I'm not going to allow the things that they did or what happened to allow my heart to become hard because I don't want to operate out of a place of hardness. I know that's not a conversation that everybody can have. But I don't want to function and operate out of a place of hurt or hardness of the things that were done to me because we've all heard people or seen people move and function when they're hurt. You can hear it. <clears throat> You can see it. I can discern it. You can hear it. You can see it. You can literally hear the bitterness coming out of their mouths. You can hear when people are hard. You can just hear it. You can see it, especially when it's something that they've been through in life and they've not healed from it. You can definitely hear and see it and feel it. I don't want to be one of those people. And so when I was hearing that song and then I started dealing with, you know, the situation happened, I was like, now. You can, I was like, Lord, okay, I understand now why you gave me the song. Because you can't be on out in social media and on YouTube telling folks to stay soft and this and this and that and the third. And then when it comes to you and the situation happens to you, even though something had already happened that I had to get over through prayer and therapy, when something else comes up, you just can't be like, you know what, I'm done. Or you know what, I'm not fooling with folks. You know what, I'm not. You still got to stay in a place that's soft because how you going to live and tell the people to be soft when you yourself and a situation comes up and you're not being soft in the situation. Like you're not staying soft by giving me the hurt. And I sat with that thing and I was like, no, nah, you're right, Lord, because I ain't going to be fake. I was like, I ain't going to be fake and I'm not going to be a hypocrite and tell people to do something that I'm not doing. And I was like, let this be a teachable moment where... <sighs> You can be humble enough to say, you can be honest, one, to say, that thing hurt me, Lord. I'm really upset. And no, I don't want to deal with no more people. But be humble enough and be soft enough to be able to say to the Lord, Lord, they hurt me. But I need you to help me so that this thing does not follow me or take root in my heart. It don't follow me onto the next person or that I'm not hardened in my heart in any kind of way when it comes to 
being open and receiving and staying soft, but being open and receiving to new people. Because people always want to talk about softness being, you know, the dress, the clothes, the, the, the makeup. The, happens on the outside is an outward appearance of what's taking place on the inside and so <clears throat> I want us to stop talking about being soft and actually be soft in every area of life it don't mean you got to be no punk but allowing yourself to stay soft when everything around you when situations and circumstances come that will want to make you be hard and does it hurt it does and I don't like, I don't know anybody that does. So like, we don't like to be hurt. We don't like to be hurt. We don't like the feeling of how it feels when our feelings are hurt because it makes us sad. I don't like being sad. I mean, nobody does, but I don't like being sad. I don't like being sad. I don't like feeling hurt because in my mind, I would not do anything to hurt anyone. So why people do stuff like that, I don't know. But for me, people going to be people, right? People going to be people. And I'm just like, Lord, just help me to stay soft. Help me to stay in a soft place. Help me to stay in this soft spot. Even my husband was like, this is not, that's not who you are. That's not who you are. That's not in your makeup to be like that. That's not, you are not that person. That's not who you are anymore. I was like, it ain't. But sometimes when you want to protect yourself, like when you want to be on the, have a, you want to have a guard up. You want to have a guard up and you want to protect yourself from being hurt but in that you become hard and you become closed up like this and when you're closed up like this no you can't let no bad in but you also can't let any good or light in either and so we have to be careful and mindful of that and just give all of our hurts we have to give them to the lord we have to give them he knows that they hurt you he knows that it hurt and it doesn't make you any it doesn't make you weak to acknowledge the fact that it hurts that's why we got to stay in a soft place and giving your hurts to the lord and um uh, being honest with him about how it feels allows you to be able to stay in a place of softness even though it doesn't feel good anyway i'm on sephora's website seeing what I can order. I had bought some um Ami Cole. I think I'm saying it right. Ami Cole. And I really love that lip oil. And um I really want some more. And I didn't know that it was black owned. So I really love it now. And so I'm going to maybe I need to go to their website and see if I can order it and if I can pick it up. I don't know y'all but it's just been a different kind of week for me. And sometimes you just do not know how to feel. So I'm in my room. I don't know what the rest of this vlog is going to look like because I'm not going anywhere. This week I was going to, I left and got my hair done this morning. And I was going to go out and about. Like I was going to go pick me up some flowers and stuff like that. But my flowers are still good from last week. So they still look good. But I was going to go do some other stuff. And I just didn't couldn't I said on it to say if I hope this vlog is not like a downer but if you're feeling a kind of way it's okay to feel how you feel like it's okay to feel how you feel and deal with those feelings and emotions because when you try to stuff them down that does not work or when you try to be like it's all positive it's not all the time and it's okay it's okay God gives us grace for that and nobody can tell you how long to sit with when somebody hurt. Nobody can tell you how long to sit with that. You sit with that for as long as you need to until you got it all out. Because some people be lying and be like, oh, I'm, I got over. I get healed from it. And then the minute that you talk, we know that you're not. It's in everything you do. And people be thinking they be fooling people. But you can't fool everybody all the time. And so even if you're fooling yourself. And so don't let anybody make you feel like you need to, there's a time frame or a time limit or a certain time on when you should be over something. Grief is grief. And sometimes endings of things can feel like deaths. 
And that's, there's a grieving process for that. Especially when it came with like no warning or something. I don't know y'all. I'm just, hmm. But anyway, I'm not going to talk y'all's ear off. So that was all I had to say about that. I'm going to sit over here and finish watching Matlock. <laughs> or order me something off Sephora or the actual website. Because I know y'all have seen, I know y'all have seen this brand. Can y'all see it? Like, I really like the lip oils. I really like the lip oils. It's a really good lip oil. Anyway, I got my, uh, a little tennis dress in from Target. And so I'll show y'all that. That one I can wear and keep. Because the other one, no ma'am. That one I can wear and that one I can keep. And I don't think I've gotten anything else in the mail. I did order a couple things from Shein. Like, I ordered some shoes and some glasses and some jewelry but i don't know if that'll be in before this vlog is up if it is i'll just show you tomorrow i don't order things from shein because you know they're gonna fall apart um but it was just a little quick cute summer that i felt like was cute for summer a little couple cute shoes for summer um but anyway i will chat with y'all tomorrow good morning y'all happy sunday so let me pull y'all down a little bit so it is, it is Sunday. <clears throat> it's a better day today. We are, yesterday I didn't vlog much at all. Well, I don't think I vlogged at all. My husband and I went out to the park and walked about three and a half, probably about three and a half miles yesterday. And this week has just been a week of rest like a week of stillness. Cause don't I look well rested, kept and moisturized? <laughs> because I am, okay? Because I am. Anyway, it was just what I needed. So I'm gonna try to do this at least once a month. At least try to do it once a month. Because y'all, I got my Josie uh, Maran body butter on my hands. They gave me a little sample. Remember, I showed y'all a sample in some vlogs back. They gave me a little sample of the topless tangerine, which is my favorite. So that helps me, from that keeps me from opening up my big jar and using it on my hands every morning. But y'all, if you have not picked that up, y'all know I would not steal y'all wrong when it comes to the body care. Okay. Oh, speaking of body care, I gotta show y'all something. But my stomach is a little on the rocks today I think I probably got cross-contaminated a little bit with some gluten last night but I'm fine I'm okay but let me show y'all my lounge set because I know y'all are gonna ask me one thing about me that y'all probably already know I'm going to be very extra when it comes to anything but definitely when it comes to anything I do at home because I'm a homebody right so I'm gonna have special luxurious, luxurious lotions and body butters and scents and fragrances. My home is gonna smell good. It's gonna be clean. I'm gonna drink out of my wine glasses with water and lemons and cucumbers or whatever else I wanna put in there. But I'm gonna have a good lounge set, okay? I'm going to have a good lounge set. This one I got from Windsor back in 2020. Well, we were all looking for loungewear, um, cute loungewear because we were stuck in the house, in the house board. So this one I got from Windsor, it's a three piece. Um, let me show you the This is a three piece. And so I'm a little bloated this morning also. Um, but the salon duster, the top is a little crappy, but I just keep mine. Sometimes I feel like it crop in sometimes I don't but today I just keep mine like a little pulled up um let me see if I can show y'all the full turn y'all around I'm knocking stuff over on this desk child let me see if I can show y'all the full how it looks all the way so this is it you see how long the duster is just as long as the cardigan is just as long as the pants but I love this. If I can find something similar, um, I'll try to link it below. But the girls are all like Jasmine. Let me say that. Let me clarify. Jasmine is always trying to take this from me. 
always. And I'm like, girl, this grown woman stuff, okay? This, this is grown woman, my kids are old and grown and out the house. This empty nester type stuff. Get out my stuff. Anyway. The theme this week must be orange because I picked up quite a bit of orangey things this week. So first let me show you the body care that I've been using this week that I have low key. It's gonna be like my spring. I'm gonna definitely take it into the summer shower routine, but let me just show you. So I showed y'all the new Dove rejuvenating white peach and rice milk body wash right i showed you the little little b-roll montage of the skincare the shower care routine i was using right let me tell you something about me if dove come out with a new body wash i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it unless i just don't like the scent right now i knew i wanted something peachy to go with because i'm trying to find things to pair with my actual perfumes to layer more I layer now, but I want to lay. I really want to really put that stuff on. Really want to. Y'all, this smells so good. Like, it has like a real peachy, like a real peach scent. I got the body wash. And then I also picked up the matching body polish. Because I'm... I'm a, I'm a buy I'm a buy what matches okay I'm a buy the things that go together I'm gonna I'm get them okay. Oh, it smells so good. What I love about Dove's body polish is not a harsh body polish like it's not a what's the word it's not as abrasive as like um, another sugar scrub that you might use or whatever. This is it's a scrub but it's not hard scrub so I would feel comfortable using this like every day well I exfoliate every day that's why my skin is so soft okay my if you want soft skin exfoliate use an exfoliating body um, use an exfoliating washcloth I use a sponge a sopa sponge an African net sponge use exfoliating gloves use an exfoliator use an exfoliating body wash I don't care what you do girl but we we need to be having soft exfoliated skin. Listen, so when you put your products on, when you put your body butter and your stuff on, it's it's like butter going on butter, okay? It's like butter going on top of butter because it's just that smooth. Anyway, so I picked those two things up and I love that. So when I came home that night, I was like, I got to find something to pair it with. So I had picked, I had went back to Sephora and I took that super goop i took that uh sunscreen bag that i showed y'all that had the white cast on it no ma'am because we're not getting ready to be looking white and ashy in the year of our lord 2024 when i know there's something better out there for the melanated girls okay i know it is anyway i'm gonna update that y'all on that too so I picked up this Nest, um, can y'all see, is it focusing? I picked up this Nest body perfume oil, right? In the scent Seville Orange. And I saw one of my hostess friends post this in her stories, right? And so I was like, mm, I need to go to Sephora and try it out. I was like, I need to go try it. Just something to an additional layer, right? It's not going to be like really long lasting. It's not going to last you all day. It's not going to do that, but it will layer very well with what you're using it with. So I used my, went to Sephora and I smelled all of them, right? They have like a vanilla, a coconut, a rose, some, a couple of other scents. This one was my favorite. And so since I was on the whole orange thing anyway, I was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and grab this one. So I did, and I love it. And I paired it with my uh, Giorgio Armani My Way, but I think next time I'm gonna try it with uh, my Jimmy Choo I Want You perfume and see how that works. I might use it later on today and try it with that particular scent and see how that works because the notes are kind of like the same a little bit. Anyway, 
that was all of the body care stuff I think I picked up this week. Then I bought an orange planner. <laughs> In my defense, I had some rewards at um I had some rewards at Michael's that I didn't want to go away. I could have bought some greenery. I could have bought some stems. But I'll get them next week. Anyway, but the planners were 30% off. And so I saw this planner, which is, um, it was done by a black illustrator, which is why I got it. So this is going to be my planner I just play around in. Like, I used to do creative planning and I kind of got out of that because, you know, she kind of got... A little different with her planning. I got my planning became more minimal, more chic style planning. But there's nothing wrong with having there's nothing wrong with having something to play in. This is gonna be my planner that I play in. Like look at the illustrations on here. They're so beautiful. And it was done by a black girl. Now this one doesn't start until a black illustrator. Like look at this. Oh, so gorgeous, right? It says bloom where you're planted. Um, but I wanted to one support and then two, but this planner doesn't start until July. So I'm just going to like look. Okay, one more, one more. Look at that. It's beautiful. So yeah, this is just gonna be my planner that I keep in the house. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna journal with it or do like take like a it's probably gonna be like a journal, more of like a picture journal, more so of like that, more so of, I think, I think I'm gonna use it like that, but I'll keep y'all posted on that. And then I picked up my she and order came in, right? So first I'm gonna show y'all the jewelry that I got. I got these cute earrings, these gold earrings. I thought they were cute like two three dollars I, I thought they were cute i also picked up these i have these in gold and i got these i got my gold ones i have ones in gold that are similar to this i got my gold ones from forever 21 about two about two months ago and i but i picked up those silver ones i thought these were really cute because i like a big statement ear moment sometimes um, here lately I have been. Those were the two pair of earrings that I picked up. I also picked up some, picked up some shades. They're downstairs in my bag and I'm not going to get them. I'm going to just put a little picture up here. I'm not, I'm not going to get them. I can't. I also picked up some shoes. Now y'all know I love me a mule, right? I love me a mule. So, of course I needed these, right? I needed them. I did. I need them. They go with everything. They actually are comfortable. Like, I wasn't putting too much stock in. If y'all hear some noise, somebody is riding up and down the street in a four-wheeler, and I want him to go home. Anyway, I did. I wasn't putting much stock in Shein shoes because I have some flats from Shein, child, that are uncomfortable, okay? But again, Shein, you know, what do we expect? But these are comfortable. This shifts a little bit, so it's not like so much on your foot. These are actually comfortable. I kept them on for a little bit yesterday. Let me just put them a little up close. Just nice stiletto me. I'm aware of stiletto, okay? I am. I like a chunky, blocky heel at times. I'm not a kitten heel girl. Um, it's either a heel for me or a sneaker or a um, open toe flat sandal. I probably won't ever wear ballet flats. I just feel like they're too flat for my feet and then I don't like the way they look on my feet. Um, I just, I've never been a ballet flat ch uh, girl. Never, I've never been a ballet flat girl. But you know, you like what you like and I just like what I like, okay? Anyway, I also picked up these. Because why not, okay? If y'all could have seen me walking around the house in these yesterday. I think they're adorable. They're so cute. For reference, I wear a size seven, okay? I'm a true seven. 
I have some shoes that are six and a half that I can fit. It just depends on the make of it. But most of the time, I'm going to be a true seven, okay? A true seven. I love these so much. They're so sexy. Both pair are very sexy. And I got things that I can wear with them like these. Um, I just got stuff, okay? I got stuff. You, I got stuff. We we wearing all our clothes this year. Okay, we wearing all our clothes. Oh, and let me now I'm gonna try on the Target dress for y'all, and then after that I'm gonna close out the vlog. Okay, girls, y'all ready? This one we can do. Okay, look. We can do this one. I, I think. And this one has shorts. So there's shorts under here. Right? We can do this one. Okay? We, we, we can do this one. The... Am I, um... Am I gonna go play pickleball or tennis? I might. <laughs> Maybe. She might. But I love this. I love the back. I love the crisscross in the back. I just love it. I just love it. What y'all think? Y'all tell me what y'all think. It's so playful. I think that's why I like it. It's very playful. So I like it. I wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't too sure after the tennis skirt fiasco. But I think this is a good one. Anyway, before we go though, I did want to say this. I had this little um, word that was laid on my heart. I wanted to share it with y'all because I don't think it's just for me. Make room for what it is that you've asked God for. You know the things it is that you pray for, the things that you're asking God for, and he's going to do those things. Your job right now is to make room for them. So if that means you have to... Um, declutter. That means if you have to go through a process of decluttering, you have to go through a process of cleaning up, you might need to, you know, it's a, it's a physical manifestation of what's taking place in the spirit. So we declutter as it is in the natural, so it is in the spirit, right? So we declutter in our homes, in our, to me, cluttered house, cluttered mind, okay? So we declutter in our homes, in our lives, in our relationships. Sometimes we just need to clear the clutter to make room for the things that it is that we've been praying and that we've been asking God for. Girl, get ready to go ahead and make room. Open up your window, okay? It's about to rain down. Whatever it is that you've been praying and asking for, but you got to make room for it, okay? You got to make room for it first. So this week, I encourage you to sit with that. You know, if that was for you, it might not be for everybody. But if that was for you, I encourage you to sit with that this week. I encourage you to ask the Lord what areas in your life that you need to begin to declutter. What areas in your life is it that you have that you need to freak up space so that he can come in and fill the spaces that you've been asking him to fill and do the things it is that you've been asking him to do. Anyway. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I'm getting ready to go eat breakfast. And then I'm probably going to start a new vlog. Um, well, y'all let me know what we can talk about throughout the week. Because I feel like, oh, Sunday is too long. Sunday to Sunday is a little long for me not to talk to y'all, right? I feel like y'all need something to watch throughout the week. And so I want to post like Wednesdays or Thursdays. But what, what we going to talk about? If I feel something laid on my heart, I'll say it. But for the most part, I just want to hear from y'all, what y'all want. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for always watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for subscribing. If you have not done any of those things yet, what are we waiting on? Come on over to the family, girl. Come on over to the family. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your over 40 girlfriends, tell your 30 year old, 20 year old nieces to come watch, to come on over here and join the family. Thank y'all so much again for watching. There I go being nosy again. Thank y'all so much again for watching. And I hope y'all have a beautiful week and I will chat with y'all later.